can you imagine? I have to grow up in this, this fishing town. My father's this great fisherman, and I get seasick the minute I, I step in a boat. You were the most wonderful thing that could ever happen in my life. The only thing that I'm sure I've done right. She got a funny way about her. So, William, where did we meet before? Most guys don't greet me with, oh no, not you again. I was so first. Oh, hi. No, no, not, not, no, not you again. Yeah, it was, uh, it was like a month ago. Some fancy Persian party in Beverly Hills Mansion. Oh, yeah. My mother's party. I had way too much to drink that night. <laughs> yes, you did. Ah! Whoa! Help me, I escaped. <gasps> what, what, did I do something stupid? Uh, my fiance is in somebody's bed. Oh, oh my God, I'm going dizzy. I got a chandelier in my car. Hone it down, man. You're a little creepy right now. You've been asking to write feature stories. Here's your chance. Go and interview her. Write classy stuff. And I promise, I won't change a word. She is not feeling well, so she might have to stay a night or two. Another night or two? I told my fiancé about you. He asked me why I'm so interested in a guy who sits around playing with his radios all day. Thinking of him, she shook like a startled fawn, her breath a vow. She wanted to see him again. I woke up to the sound of my own voice. I've been sleeping alone due to messed up choices made when I was young. Don't 